Let's have a look here. Seems to be a chance going cabinets. Our armor. Okay. Bench, I cannot craft any Welcome. weapons. Bribe boat boatage? Activate terminal. Uh, okay, fine. Will be it. Hello. Hmm? Oh, yes, hello. I've heard about you. We don't get many strangers here in the Citadel, especially those who walk about unescorted. I am Scribe Bowditch. If you require something, simply ask. I know you know about the memory transfer on that android. Normally, I don't traffic in unsubstantiated rumor, but... They say old Pinkerton is hiding out somewhere in Rivet City, and that he did it. Okay. Uh, what do scribes do? Why, a great many things. There are three orders within the scribes, you see. Each dedicated oh. to a different field right, The of order study. of the sword, the order of uh, the shield, the order of the quill. You name the orders, you know. Just a, a, a blind test. Of course. There's the Order of the Sword, Order of the Shield, and Order of the Quill. Wow. The Order of the Sword develops and maintains the Brotherhood's weapons. The Order of the Shield does the same for our power armor and defenses. The Order of the Quill is responsible for recovering and preserving knowledge, ancient and otherwise. Okay. Uh, which order do you serve, Squire Bowditch? I am Proctor of the Order of the Shield. I oversee the others in my order and make sure our defenses are up to snuff. Do you okay. know how long it took to fortify these ruins? From the husk of the Pentagon, I carved a grand citadel. No easy task, my friend. Ah, but that was yesterday, when all we had to worry about was those damn super mutants. The Enclave, now, that's a different problem altogether. That's all I needed. Very well. Um... Can you repair my equipment? I suppose that I can. The Brotherhood can make use of wasteland currency to trade. If we chaps. Yeah. Hmm. Security helmet. And that's it. And got any thoughts on the Enclave? They're sporting some pretty impressive power armor, I'll give them that. The advanced Mark II. But that's all right. With a few modifications, our own armor will more than handle anything they throw at it. Um you guys share anything about the super mutants, though? They're relentless, like nothing I've ever seen before. I honestly think they see our brothers in power armor as some kind of canned meal. Some of the pieces we've had brought back, men and women ripped in half, some pulled through their armor. Just horrible. Yeah. Uh, I have to go now. Rose. Back to work. Back to work indeed. Um, let's see now. Right. The lab terminal. Uh, welcome, brother. AVF problem. The recent experiments with accelerated perfusion, AVF, have not gone according to plan. All scribes assigned to the lab should check the scribe uh, Rothschild on a daily basis to obtain any modified technical parameters. Warning, leaky hydraulics. It has come to our attention that several crimes have slipped on hydraulic fluid near the eastern end of the robot lift. Robot lift. Till the offending pipes can be ended completely, please use caution in that area. Okay, so the only things new were the AVF problem and the leaky hydraulics. Okay, fair enough.
Ouch. Darts. Yeah, I can get all the darts that I can, I can, to be honest. Um, do you have the fact that, um, I'm sure that the dots are going to be useful. We are another. Or okay. thingy. Going to the courtyard. Oh yeah, okay. some repairs in for my Chinese this office sword so great welcome I'm sorry but I really don't have time to talk right now perhaps scribe Jameson could help you hey well thanks for telling me to know who I, sh I should uh, see you know, that uh you seem for me Wait, wait. What? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Is that a giant robot? What? They're drawing a uh, sky. Uh, I remember. Pacific Rim on us right now. Huge. Welcome. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to talk right now. Perhaps Scribe Jameson could help you. Okay, so they don't want me to talk to them. Fair enough, I suppose. At the same is there's no large free. Need something, friend? Okay. <clears throat> That's that just under the the part the 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 particular part the courtyard. So, do they plan on using that? Because I knew I know from uh, the wretches that um, there are some interesting parts that are well, cool, but right now it's not entirely uh, complete. Now that I know what the robot meant, <laughs> what meant. You honor us with your presence. The Enclave seems to have developed advanced plasma-based weaponry. I need to analyze our power armor. Okay. Um. Hey, see. be more careful. Hmm. Uh, there anything? Possible? Welcome. Hey. What I wouldn't do to get my hands on one of those enclave vertebrates. Bird a bird. Okay. Uh, artillery. Raza. These these 
these two were the only ones that I was able to uh, get back safely. It wasn't easy. The fact that they went into a room which was, um, well, I, I won't say filled with um, rules, but almost that, to be honest. Liberty Prime Operation. Citadel System Link 39L. Ultram Scribe Rothschild. Spiritual Wretcheds. Project Summary. Classified Eyes Only. Military Contract 38197. Codename Liberty Prime. Project Rule No less than the creation of the most powerful combat robot Battlefield has ever seen. With the express scroll of liberty in an occupied anchorage, Alaska from Chinese addresses. Anchorage? Alaska? Alright. Summary. The United States Army has succeeded in contracting both Arctro, General Atomics International, work on their first joint project. The robot they create, Liberty Prime, uh, will be the very embodiment of American military might. A walking, talking, New tossing hero will remind the world that it what man, means to be power. I am fully confident that the presence of Liberty Prime at the Anchorage frontline will be uh, to the Chinese what the Hiroshima bomb was to the Japanese in 1945. General Constantine Chase. Alright. Capital Post Post Article June 2072. By Walter Street Beat Munro. Munro? Okay. Capital uh, Post Staff Writer. In a startling turnaround from their um, previous policy of complete cover development, uh, the United States Army has confirmed that they are in working on a new super weapon one designed specifically to crush the Red Chinese invasion or then liberate occupied Anchorage, as once once for all. Speaking at an army press conference at the Pentagon, General Constantine Chase stated, No more secrets, the time has come to lay all our cards on the so the Chinese can see with their own eyes that we've got the winning hand. The United States Army, proud to announce that for the first time in history, General Atomics International and Rothko have joined forces to create for this great country a uh, super weapon that will leave every single yellow belt red shaking in their crummy police. Unfortunately, for our readers, that's as uh, specific as Chase is yet. While he and the army are ready for China to know the US is developing a new weapon, they are not quite ready to divulge just where it is, or when it will be ready for deployment. All in due time. All in due time. Rest assured, when this weapon is complete, Liberty will come to Anchorage and hell will follow. Letter, Dr. Bluefeld to General Chase. General Chase, I am sorry, but you are being completely unrealistic. There is simply no way the robot will be combat ready in three months. The chassis is complete, all weapon systems are online, and the voice module has been programmed as requested. But power consumption is still our primary concern. And neither doctors, honey, honey well, nor Park have yet found an acceptable solution. We had hoped to contract Voltec and utilize the talents of Dr. Braun. But apparently he's gone into seclusion working on one of their own projects and didn't reach him at so that's out. I'll give it to you, Great General. This is the biggest robot the world has ever seen, and we just haven't been able to find a power source small enough and powerful enough. Get the damn thing running with all its systems online. In three months, we might be able to guarantee the robot and walk into downtown Anchorage with all of his weapons offline. Maybe you can just step on the red Chinese after Stanley Belt Project Lee. Uh, diagnostic reports. May 8th, 20, 20, 2277. Here are the results of the latest robot diagnostic um, abilities boost to zero percent, navigation should zero percent, internal processes forty six, five of 
Seven voice module 100. And uh, Stripe Rothschild is uh, transmitting that uh, redistributing power from the weapons and mobility subsystem will be able to bring our management up to at least 67. Now to successfully carry out full activation sequence. Fly 13. Tribe Rothschild has completed a new full dynastic robot. Here are those results. So mob mobility is still on zero. Navigation and translation zero. Internal processors 12. Weapon system 13. Power management 1. Pulse module 100. It has been determined that the recent feedback spike resulted in novel degradation. It was in fact caused by solution of the new power capacitor as described on child suspected uh, until uh, further notice uh, scribes are ordered to seize any and all experiments that involve the rerouting of power from any of the robot subsystems and current prime uh, has completed new okay your percent mobility addition to addition zero home processes 87 weapon systems and power management three it is the assessment of Scribe or Child that once the power management issues are solved, ability and navigation, navigation will come to at least or within acceptable operating, operating capacity. Uh, Leeds Scribe's Journal, uh, May 9th. Sorry. Another day, another setback. We had tried, of course, rerouting power from weapons to robots over the subsystem several times. Each attempt ended in failure thanks to the robots' overly aggressive combat subroutines. Um, it's almost as if there's some hidden pocket of AI that keeps pushing against us, refusing to let us let anyone drain power from the weapon systems. I guess that shouldn't surprise me, considering why it was constructed in the first place. That's why I began work on the new dampener. The first place, I was convinced to trick the robot into thinking I had actually reduced the power from some other subsystem. The damn thing was smarter than that, smarter than me. What I managed to do was my as was fry some of his circuitry again and set us back another three months. July 14th. I'm tired of trying to reroute power like some kind of snot nosed initiate. I don't care what kind of brain it puts on the surprise of ability to research me, weapons and armor. I'm proceeding with the AVF experiments. I can successfully create an absolute vector fusion module. Similar to the technology I saw Dr. Lee working with all these years with all those years ago, we'll have our first real chance of getting the robot fully operational. Right. Maybe then the Western elders will realize our worth. Uh, August 1st. Unfortunately, the accelerated ve vector fusion ADF experiments haven't gone as planned. Oditch suffered secondary burns, and at one point, we accidentally channeled so much power to the robot's head later it discharged and nearly chilled out the lines. It was not pleased. I can do that. Voice amateur test. Brotherhood is at your service. As Hall, okay. Um, where was I? Oh, I was here. Okay. So, where does that lead to? Almery? This my smell rifle. Eight Weapon Information Research Database. Uh the N ninety nine ten millimeter pistol. 
The 10 millimeter 99 sidearm was standard issue military gear following the phase out of the N18. The N99 was known for its ability to survive in the harshest of, of conditions, and in many tests, the weapon was able to reliably be restored to working condition after an extended period of time, exposed to hard elements and without maintenance. The N99 proved to stand up to its claims, and as a result, one of the most common weapons found in use in the wasteland, while many civilian weapons were ruined beyond use in the exterior conditions following the war, the N99 was only able to be easily restored to work in order by anyone with the most basic knowledge of firearm mechanics. However, an N99's poor condition can often deliver low targets in armor penetration, frequent jamming and greatly reduce the accuracy. Fortunately, the weapon was produced in great numbers and the new units are available for replacement parts. R91 5.536mm assault rifle. The R series of combat assault rifles was used reliably uh, following the generation of the M series in the early 21st century. The R series produced by civil civilian manufacturer and security solutions was made in uh, many models and variations. The variation most common to the DC wasteland is the R91 full auto urban assault rifle. This rifle was standard issue for the National Guard during urban pacification operations. Fortunately, for our purposes, Nation Guard had been fully deployed around the DC area during the time of the war. As a result, the R91 is readily available for those willing to search. Although nearly two centuries of scavenging has reduced the numbers of working units, the R91 remains a favorite of slavers and raiders. This rifle can also often be obtained from legitimate traders and arms dealers. Like any firearm, the R91 has effectiveness and accuracy can suffer without regular maintenance. Uh, the AEP-7 laser pistol uh, was put into service to replace the AEP-5 model which was notorious for its problems with overheating. The AEP-7 features a new design in the photonic focusing amber as well as an entirely redesigned focusing crystal pattern. The bulk and weight have both been reduced over previous models, models and it was likely that within the new few development cycles, the successor to the AE-7 would replace the N99 10mm as the standard issue sidearm for all forces. The AE-7 took advantage of new manufacturing inks developed shortly before the Great War. Although many were produced, most, most did not make it into build service because of logistics problems concerning their deployment during active wartime. War time. The AEP-7 can be a rare find in this capital wasteland, and many models, and any mod models that are produced, should be returned to the Citadel for repair and recalibrating before field deployment. The laser rifle AER-9. Unlike many of the weapons in, in use today. The AER-9 is actually not the top laser rifle that was in service at the time of the Great War. Uh, the model line went up to the state of the war, the art AER-12 for service in a handful of specialty units. The reason that the AER-9 is much more commonly found is that it was much sturdier and more reliable than the models followed. The AER-9 features a titanium, a titanium as crystal array which proved to withstand long years of exposure the elements much better than the gold alloy housing of the later models. As a result, the crystal array stayed focused within operating parameters rather than falling completely out of focus like the newer models. As with all energy weapons, the AER-9 can suffer from poor performance if not properly maintained. The crystal arrays and non-mechanical components are delicate and if not properly serviced, can lead to the loss of beam intensity, overheating, and energy regulation failure. Alright, so it when it comes to the weapons. Because this one is the same as go outside, so yeah. Okay. Alright, um, do I want that uh, plasma right? Of course I want that. Okay, 
Um. Hail. Knight Captain Durga. I received word from Elder Lyons. He says that you have permission to trade with us. Good for you. Yeah. Um, can I see what you have to trade? Yeah, I suppose. Not very, you're not very happy about that, though. Um, advanced radiation. Brand resistance plus 40. One has a more, more durability. Okay, so. Combat knife, electron charge patch, gel, flamer, flame of fuel, bad grenade, bad mine, hunting rifle, rifle, grenade, wretched armor helmets, zipper, hot gun shell, uh, silent stone mills, silent stone mills, patch 38, get it at 34. With all the bosses, so no, I don't think that I'm going to pitch the steam pack. So yeah. Uh did that. Um, no. Right now. Cancel. Um, I have to go now. Steel be with you. Wait, when you trade, can you give them stuff? Yeah. What do you need? Yeah, I suppose. Um. I'm going to give that uh, armor, armor to the uh, Ross. Of course. Sugar bombs. Explosive great taste. Great Captain Osmo. Go to Rave Fire. I'll find them. Dutch and cover. Like, um. Dutchin cover. Explosives in I one. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Thing uh going into there. Let's move on. Need something tra Yes. Is there something I can help you with? Um I need to find the vault 87 right now. I take it you were successful then. As it happens, the Brotherhood has some information about Vault 87. Let me yeah. show you what we know. I already saw that. Unless you've not. This map shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm afraid. Uh, why? What's difficult about it? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. Um, how do I get through the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. There ought to be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. 
There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Within the caves? See. Don't you know? No, I'm afraid not. After initial attempts to cross the radiation failed, it was decided to focus our efforts elsewhere. You, however, are free to do as you choose. More exploration may be useful, and I'll certainly be interested in anything you might find. Well, uh, thanks for your help anyway. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Such lamp like cabins for Wayne's Vault 87. Okay. Yes. Um, Can I help you? I'm very busy. Are you in charge of the, um, um, the robot? I am, and have been since we first found him well over 20 years ago. Liberty Prime is the designation we found on file for him. Magnificent, don't you think? At least he will be once all systems are operational. It's the energy consumption. Something that big with such advanced weapon systems. Uh, we just don't have the means to power him. Not yet. What was Vault 87 again? Check the map in the lab for reference if you like. The vault is to the west of the city, far out in the capital wasteland. Remember that you won't be able to just walk in due to the radiation. You'll have to try and find another way to access the vault. I expect that Lamplight Caverns is your best chance for success. Uh, who built Liberty Prime, or better yet, why? He was developed as a super weapon back in the days before the war. The first joint operation between Robco and General Atomics International. Apparently, he was meant to help liberate Alaska from the Chinese, but was never completed. Yeah. They were forced to go in without him. They won, but suffered heavy losses. If we can get him up and running well, I think you get the idea. There's no more about Barrett with us, still. I'm afraid you're asking the wrong person. Are you the wrong person to ask? Predominantly because the Elder won't like some of what I have to say. But fine, I'll discuss it. What do you want to know? Are you here in the Capital Wasteland? Well, that depends on who you ask. Lions will tell you it's because we're protecting the poor, innocent people of the Capital Wasteland. Most others here will tell you the same thing. They'll do anything for that man. Not everyone agrees? No, not everyone. But for a variety of reasons, those who disagree are no longer with us. Let them know more. What do you want to know? How long have you been here? We arrived here in 55, established ourselves in the Citadel within the first few months. The Elder has kept us busy since then. Not what finished do you want yet. To know? Seems to have a pretty small organization. The Brotherhood of Steel is bigger than what you see here. We're only a small division, you could say. But that's a bit of a sore subject around here. Why is that a sore subject? Much has happened in the 23 years since we left the West Coast. Our mission has changed in that time. The changes have not all been pleasant. And have had significant repercussions. You mean by repercussions? Some did not approve of the Elder's decisions. Initially, they followed because we are all taught to follow the Elders. I'm not finished again. What do you want to know? The Brotherhood of Steel is bigger than what you see here. 
We're only a small division, you could say. But that's a bit of a sore subject around here. Where's the rest of the Brotherhood? The West Coast, unless something has changed. There's been no contact with them for the last several years. There's also a small detachment in Chicago, but they're off the radar. Gone rogue. Long story. Why? What happened? Lines of communication were severed years ago. The Western Elders have washed their hands of us. Alright. Can someone in the Citadel train me to wear some power armor? <laughs> Typical. Surrounded by the keenest scientific minds in the capital wasteland. But do you thirst for our knowledge? Our experience? No! All you wastelanders want to do is put on that damn power armor and join the ranks of the skull-thumping tin soldiers. So be it. Talk to Elder Lyons. I'm sure he'll grant permission for the training, which our gunnery sergeant can provide. Did you share anything about this? Not really. No. You think you should repair my equipment? Could I? Yes. Will I? No. Go see Peabody or Bowditch. I have to go now. Don't hurry back. Oh, it's pleasant. Um, I have to go back to cross in order to. I do this. Sufficient power. Cross is still there. I don't know why. What's your real name? What's the fool up to now, anyway? Nice try, though. Come on, it will really throw those guys for a loop, you tell me. Alright. And so we part. So we part. Hell in No Dal is a real name. Really? You're kidding me. What is it? Irving. Thousand caps. Wow. Of course. Thanks. Captain. You it together, yes. stranger? I see you're still in one piece. That's a good start, huh? I have to go now. Move silently. Yeah. It is well to see you again. Shall we continue? Yeah, let's get going. Very well. I stand by your side. It's trade equipment. In the word. The blue. Bench. Okay. Wait here. I shall reflect on the battles past and the battles to come until your return. Okay. So that I can get that. Okay. That's cool. Um, Tim. I swear, these kids couldn't hit a barn door. Talk to me. Say something to get my mind off these sorry-ass recruits. All right. Well, uh, you'll, you'll be happy to hear about this one, I'm sure. Uh, can you train me to use power armor? 
Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? Now look, to wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. You have received you have received a specialized training need to move in any form of power armor. Need specialized training needed in any form of power armor. What aid can I offer you, outsider? I have to go now. If you'll excuse me, I need to go show these fish how to shoot straight. Let me let me see. Uh, perks. Our armor training. I received a specialized training needed to move in any form of power armor. So that's great. Uh, where was part where I could get some power armor? There you go. Now, arrow. Put that. And there we go. Now what I need is uh, our helmet. Uh, my stats like ability minus two plus two. Uh, okay, I'll use it with. I need to have some stuff. All right. Didn't decrease my. So now that all this is done, with my quest, search lamplight caverns for a way into Vault eighty-seven. Because if you do, then uh. The enclave will have everything. So, where is it? Both 87 is there. Under the seats is there. Here. Both 1 1. Visha. Both 108. Both D. I want to go. I know what to do. There is a foul stench on the wind. Let us not tarry for long. Wait here. I shall reflect on the battles past and the battles to come until your return. <laughs> 